Welcome to this short video on the exam question of the 49 year old male with a suspected ST elevated MI. We're looking through a range of drugs and seeing if they are appropriate with their mechanism of action for this particular case. So we're going to focus on ACS, acute coronary syndrome, which encompasses unstable angina, NSTEMI and STEMI and the drugs and their appropriateness for this particular case. So looking at this particular image to start with, we've got the front of the heart, we've got the coronary vessels, we've got an insert here which demonstrates a fibro uh, fatty plaque now with a complication occurring where you have fist, a fissure forming, so an exposure of the plaque, therefore um, platelet aggregation and a possible um, thrombus starting to form. So when we look at aspirin, aspirin is a very useful drug in ACS. Its effect is to stop further platelet aggregation in the area where we have a possible exposure to the plaque. So it would be used in preventing further platelets being aggregated in, in the vessel. GTN is a drug that would cause nitric oxide to be exposed and widen the diameter of the blood vessels to allow more blood getting through. Because the problem is blood is now blocked by this particular thrombus. When we look at a beta blockers, so beta 1 antagonists, they will stop essentially the speed of the heart, so slow the heart down, probably make the heart contract more efficiently, and then by doing that, the heart itself needs less oxygen, so that is probably going to be protective when we are in an ischemic event. When we look at morphine, morphine will take away the chest pain, reduce the anxiety, and drop the sympathetic drive, also having a protective um, effect on the heart itself. Heparin, heparin comes and actually stabilizes the clot, so it turns prothrombin into thrombin, and that makes that platelet aggregation more stable. And then finally, statins we know are used for fat and for fat metabolism, and so the thought with statins use in ACS is threefold. It's got an anti-inflammatory effect, it's got an anti-platelet effect, and it stabilizes the plaque to prevent possible, possible more um, clots starting to form. So when we go to the question, aspirin is a true statement, but it's, been, it's asking its anti-inflammatory effect, which is not true. Aspirin's used in this case is for anti-platelet effect. The GTN answer is correct. The beta blocker, no, the beta blocker's effect in the ACS is to, to do with the heart, not with the kidney. Morphine's, that answer is true. Heparin was talking about anti-platelet, which is a false statement. Heparin works on the um, cross-linking and the stabilization of the clot, not the anti-platelet. And then finally, statins, that was a false statement. It was a it was talking about further atherosclerosis, rather it, statin's use is antiplatelet, anti-inflammatory and stabilized in the plaque. So hopefully now you can see why the answer is a particular case of ACS.